Giants hosting the Panthers, and the Giants are three-point favorites. The over-under is at 38.5. The Giants are minus 165 on the money line, and the Panthers are plus 140. Now, all the stats I'm going to read off are based off of the regular season and not the preseason, and these, I just call them the overnight odds, although they're not really the overnight odds. It's just the lines literally had just come out a few hours ago. Now, head-to-head, -head, the home team is 6-4. and four. The home team's on a three-game winning streak. The Giants are on a two-game winning streak against the Panthers. The Giants are 6-4 and four against the Panthers in their last 10 meetings against them. The underdog has covered the last six games that these teams have played against each other. The underdog is 7-3 and three against the spread, while the favorite is 5-5 five and five on the money line. So the favorite has been winning some of these games. They just haven't been covering these games. The under has hit in their last two. The over is six and four in their last 10, and the over 38 and a half points is seven and three in their last 10 meetings against each other. Now, the last time that these teams played against each other was in September of 2022, and the Giants won that game 19 to 16. The game went under, and the Giants were the underdog in that game. They, they covered. Um, it's just a matter of how much of the first team offenses we're going to see in these games. I imagine we're probably going to see more of Matt Corral than we would see Bryce Young. And, you know, DeVito was uh, the leading pass thrower for the Giants last week, and it wasn't uh, Daniel Jones. Young didn't look as awful as some of the other rookie quarterbacks in this one. I just... Uh, I don't know. I don't trust my own team here, but I do think that Carolina is a bad team and they're a bad team for a reason. So I am going to take the Giants with the money line. I'm going to take the Giants laying the points and I'm going to go over in this game and kind of hope that, you know, even though it's preseason, they can beat a bad team. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.